Hey there YouTube, Mr. Fedora Man here back again with the next part of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. So we have gotta do some uh We gotta do some stuff. We gotta continue on. As you can see there's a bombable wall here, so let's put a bomb down. And blow it up. To get a piece of heart. Alright, so now moving on again. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I set a bomb down. Oops. Should probably switch to something else. Now, there's no other way to go, so if we jump down here. Got a bit of a mini boss, as you can see. Oh god. These guys are all over the place. Uh, swing wildly like a madman. I don't know how to handle this. Uh. I'm using my shield though, so I'm completely safe. That's a good thing. Yeah. Whew. And with all of those guys to Defeated, we get an item called the Cane of Pachi. So as you can see, it allows us to flip things over, as it so just said. So... I forgot this. Wait, I remember now. If we stand on here, flip this, we can get across. Hey kid, why don't you take that Cane of Pachi and fire it at that hole? I mean, you never know what'll happen until you try, right? We don't have a key, so we kind of have to go this way. And up we go! And now we have a teleporter back to, um... Back to the start of the dungeon, if we so wish. And look! We can flip over this minecart. All kinds of stuff like this. And now what we want to do is we want to take this chest on a pedestal. Push it up right next to the hole. Into the hole. And then take the small key with... Uh, that was inside. And now that's with a small key in tow, we can head back through that door that we couldn't before. Back down here. Oh, not in the hole. Lol. And through this door, which will lead us down. I don't think I want to do that just yet. So, you want to shrink down here because it, we can't get through. There's a little tiny hole on the other side of that wall, of these crazy spike things, so we can't get through there if we are not minish size. So we just gotta... Oh, that was close. Yeah, we traverse that. We can make our way over here. Go through this little area here, because we need to, because we need to grow ourselves back and now we have grown ourselves back to the normal size. And now that we're normal size, these things will attack us. These spiky things of doom. They'll only go in one direction, though, when they see you, or in the direction. So you can easily avoid them if there is, like, a hole, like a hiding spot. Now if we hit that with our sword, we can go through here. Now, remember these guys? We threw them into holes they would become stepping stones for us. Well, that is exactly what you want to be doing here. I'm going to take all four of these guys. You don't exactly need to use the cane of Pachi. I mean, I do it just because I want to. And once we've put all of them in here, we can drag this switch on the pedestal over them. Which would probably hurt. And with that, we can now push this into the hole. Hit the switch. Open the gate. It's amazing. Now, there's a chest over there, and there's also another chest. If we come up here, we get a keenstone piece. You can see there's another chest over there. So if we go back up, 
You can see there's a hole over here. Jump down here, get another Keenstone piece, and then push this block out of the way. So now, oh, as you can see, there is the boss door. We don't have the boss key, or the big key, rather, just yet, but soon. See, now that we got our shiny new cane of uh, Pachi, we're going to have to put it to use. Look at that, a red teleporter. Well, now we can teleport to back to the beginning if we so desire. No, we can't go that way. Oops. Thought maybe I could. So I guess we're going back this way then. Eww. And things get a little dicey here sometimes. Oof, oof, oof. I want to get rid of these pots. So just get in, in the way otherwise. Or I could just be dumb. It's always a possibility. So yeah, we want to keep switching over between these platforms in order to get us over to that other side. And there we go. No problem. So we want to go this way first. Can I just use my shield here? Still hurts, but there's a chest with a keenstone piece. Bastards. Hate those things so much. Anyways, so we got that keenstone piece, but we have to go over here if you want to progress through this dungeon. Hop into this whirlwind, and that'll take us up here. And yeah, as you can see, that whirlwind was on a different height as us, so we couldn't get to it normally. Which is why we had to use the cane of Pachi to get over there. So jump in this whirlwind and you want to you want to float yourself on over here because this is a ledge that we can go up since we're uh, we're flying. When you come over here, we're going to have to start uh, doing some perilous uh, levitating. You can just stop here and chill for a second if you really want to. And then when you jump in the hole here, you can use this whirlwind to come back around over here. And in here, come on now, we get 100 rupees. Look at that. We're going to have some, uh, we have the rupees to spend on some shiny new stuff in the store. So, we want to come over here first. Get rid of this fire so that we can jump into here jump in over here, go this way, keep floating on over here, and in this chest we have yet another keenstone piece, and we'll jump back in here again, hop into this whirlwind, and go up here, which we get the big key. So now with the big key in tow, we can actually go through the boss door. All right, what I like doing is flipping that over and then using the gust jar to pick them up. Now we can't get back over that way, and I don't think we can get back over this way. Yeah, I think we need to... that's how we have to get all the way back. Oh, come on, that wasn't even fair. Give me like two seconds to react. Ouch. That was painful. At least I believe we have to go this way if we want to go back. Might as well keep this in, why not? 
We've still got quite a bit of time left on our hands. Oh yeah, we do have to go this way if we wanna... If we wanna get back. It's just that we can... We can skip some of the unnecessary crap this time around. I mean, the vast majority of it is necessary, but... Yeah, we're getting... Uh, we're, we're making pretty good time here, actually. So now... Come over here. Fly up here. Yet again. Yeah, it's all old hat. You guys have seen this before. Doo -doo -doo. Just gonna try and make this as painless as possible. Which is kinda hard to do considering this is really boring, but... It's because you've seen it before. You already know what's gonna happen. Up here... See, this is, it's different this time. We want to use the Whirlwind to get back over to the platform that we started on. Otherwise, we're going to be in uh, a little bit of trouble because we can't get to the boss door. So what you want to do here is use the Whirlwind, and then instead of going over to the boss key, or the big key rather, you want to come over this way. And, whoop, look at that. We are back where we started. Yeah, okay, that's what I wanted. I wanted a heart from that. <clears throat> and then when that stops here, get on it, ride it on over here. And now, <clears throat> now we can go into the boss. I'm going to save, though, first. Real quick. So let's go on in. Whoa. Kind of intimidating, don't you think? Oh, this is gonna be like a King Dodongo thing. Because it definitely looks like the King Dodongo setup. Whoa, 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 whoa. Christ. I'm assuming we're gonna have to use the cane of Pachi since we just got it. Oh. Oh, and then he makes a bridge for us. Oof. Alright, alright. Oh, we have to get it right from behind, I guess? It's going pretty well so far. Whoa, is the lava like pulsating a little bit further out than I think it needs to? Um, um, um. Whew. That was pretty close. Oh god. Nice fire, bro. You want to share some with the class? God. All right. Boom, Kane Apache'd. And climb back onto you. All right, you, you're almost dead. You can't handle this. This is going actually pretty well. Ouch. Except for the part where my ass just got lit on fire. Alright, you. Oop. Have at ye, foul creature! Yee! Okay, well, I didn't expect to fall in there. And again, I don't think anyone does. Oh, I was hoping maybe I could get him. Oh! Burning my butt yet again. And flip it over, and. This should be the last one. No? You bastard, you're gonna keep going? 
Ouch. This guy is strong. But can I put this up with the... No, I can't. And we'll just panic back and forth. Good god, it's getting hit all over the place. Oh man. I'm gonna go in for a spin attack. Oh, look at that, that was pretty fancy. Oh, I think we got him. Yeah, look at that, eat it. You son of a bitch, you. That was one hell of a boss fight. I will give you that. And for defeating him, we gain the fire element. Look at that. And with the fire element in tow, we've only got two more to go. We're already halfway. Flames bring light to darkness and warmth to all. The fire element is the embodiment of that power. That is pretty awesome. What? Oh. And there's our heart container for defeating the boss, and the teleport out. Oh, that was hot. It was so hot I thought my fibers would catch fire. Ah, but it's over now. I suppose we should go back and speak to Malari. We should. Which is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna speak to Malari before ending this episode. So we did a fair amount of work. I think we deserve a little bit of reward for that. Oh man, did he actually reforge it? Wow, that was fast work, but not so fast that I didn't finish your sword. Here, take a look. I call this new blade the White Sword. Oh man. And with that, we get a sword upgrade. We get the White Sword. Its beautiful white blade sparkles with light. You can put away your grandfather's sword now. Once you infuse it with the power of the elements, it will become a sacred blade. The Forest Elder no doubt ta taught you about this, er, told you about this part, but if you want to infuse the sword, you must go to the Elemental Sanctuary. The Sanctuary is a strange realm trapped between two worlds. It is the bright bridge between... Or it is the bridge between the Minish world and the human world. The doorway to the Sanctuary opens only once every hundred years. You'll find that door hidden within Hyrule Castle. Once the blade has been filled with the power of the four elements, you should be able to break the curse on your princess. I know you can do it. After all, you made short work of that human mind. Let me tell you about a shortcut you can use to get down from the mountain. You'll find it right in front of the entrance of the mine you just explored. Just follow that and you'll be down in no time. Good luck! And with that, I'm going to end the episode here. So I thank you very much for watching, and this is Mr. Fedora Man, signing out. Bye!